Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Oh, oh. where is it? Hey, there I am. <laughs> hey, uh, welcome to uh, the Lore Party uh, podcast Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash lore underscore party. I am Michael, a host of Minigame, a senior producer on the rest of the Lore Party podcast network. Uh, thank you very much for joining me here today. Uh, we got another old game for us. Uh, it is still not Blade Runner. <laughs> oh, God. If I die, I want on my headstone to be next episode is Blade Runner. Uh, but, but we got something so actually kind of in the same vein as Blade Runner. Uh, the YouTuber H Bomber guy uh, recently came out with a, a pretty long video about Deus Ex Human Revolution. Uh, and that kind of got me on a little bit of a Deus Ex um, kind of... I've just been thinking about that game co quite a lot ever since I watched that video. It's a very good video. Um, just check out his channel. Um, but yeah, let's let's cut the dilly dally and just get to the game. All right. Uh, so let's check out my Steam library because uh, we have to do some uh, fiddling around uh, with OBS settings. Uh, in order to get the game running properly in OBS. <laughs> Got a similar stuff I had to do with uh, Blade Runner. Hey, old games are weird. So, uh, I think I think actually just for if any of you are unfamiliar with Deus Ex or maybe only played more recent titles, I'm actually gonna play the intro because I don't think it plays on a new game. Oh, that's gonna be very loud. <laughs> that's very loud. Uh, but should calm down during the intro because this intro music is so loud. All right. Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already discussed the matter with the senator. I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh, yes. Most certainly. When I mentioned hey, Connor, thanks for joining us here today. List for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was I, Yeah, the episode, the episode I did with you, uh, War Party about Deus Sex about like a year and a half ago, it. which feels like it feels like both yesterday and forever ago. Uh, still one of my favorite War Party episodes I've I've been a part of. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. Yeah, that's right. Zoom right into that JPEG. Armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. I know. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. But the world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. Unatco. Just a bunch of robots Forward and folding chairs. Order after the terror strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. Look at that old He's guy! To Vandenberg. It's so cute! Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The augmentation project? Among other <laughs> things, but... I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. If necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon... This music is both great and terrible. Order again. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon, that city will be a reality, and we... I don't remember what that, that is. Kings. Not better than kings. Gods. Excellent. So, uh, that's the intro. Uh, let's get the game started. Because uh, we got some character creation we have to do. Apologies if the music is so loud. I'll get through this as fast as I can to get to a normal volume because during my test of this the regular game volume is fine uh, but this music is absurdly loud I guess I could actually yeah let's do that uh sound I spill my drink <laughs> okay okay oh thank god Whew. I don't know why I didn't think to do that sooner <laughs> That's all right. Well, now we got more 
we're not pained by the loudest music in humanity. Uh, we can take time creating our uh, character here. Um, yeah, our code name is always JC Denton. Um, fun thing, like, it's fun going back to the first entry in a well-established series, just seeing like some of like the weird anachronisms, especially for like a, a, a beginning entry this old. Uh, like a lot of like the weird, like new, excuse me, a lot of, like new series stuff that it has. Like you can name your your JC Denton. Uh, JC Denton is just a code name. So I'm gonna name it after myself. Uh, yeah, and you can choose what he looks like. So uh, you know, yeah, plain Jane white guy is default JC. Uh, canonical JC is a boring white guy, but yeah, it can be that. Uh, if you want to be uh, Albert Wesker from Resident Evil, you can be that too. Uh, that we're just gonna go with the default dude for now. Okay, so we have five thousand skill points. Uh, I'm just checking. Yeah, you should be able to read all the text uh, pretty well. I'm not gonna go through the tutorial because uh, there's not a lot there and it's a little on the long side. <laughs> um, yeah, because like again, like early, early, like old game stuff, you had you had game manuals back then to teach you how to play. Uh, this game does have a tutorial, but it's a tutorial that you have to, have to opt into, which is very interesting. Um, so. We have a bunch of skills here, computers, electronics, environmental training, lock picking, medicine swimming, and five different weapon classifications. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to focus more on computers, and I'm going to say probably computers, lock picking, and I'm going to say probably pistols. I, I usually don't make a very combat heavy build uh, so we're just going to go with sort of my usual build of a sort of like a sneaky tech guy who can also shoot a dude uh, yeah and there's in each of these skills uh, I'm untrained in everything except pistols pistols I have a little bit of training just so that you have a very base level of ability um, and in each of these skills there's four sort of subclasses you can be untrained uh, trained, advanced, and master. So for just like an untrained computer guy, you could basically just like read the news, and that's kind of it. <laughs> you, like, you, like you can't even ha like attempt to hack into a computer unless you have some training. Uh, so I'm gonna spend some of my skill points into training myself on computers. Um, let's see, you need 1,800. Okay. Uh, untrained, I can I can at least pick locks, so I can at least use lock picks. I find. Um, I'm gonna put my some of that into there. Twenty seventy five left. I'm going to reduce the period of toxic poisoning. That sounds like that could be useful. You know, what? I'm gonna put some in medicine. I'm gonna do a little bit of changes on the fly here. Okay, I have 1175 left. I can really only spend that on either environmental training, which is basically um, like hazmat suits and stuff like that, um, or swimming. Um, fuck, swimming is useless. Swimming has always been useless in Deus Ex. It's not com okay. It's not completely useless. Hot take: swimming is not completely useless in the first Deus Ex. Uh, actually, I don't think there is swimming in any other Deus Ex game except for this one. Because I, I don't recall if you can swim in Invisible War. I think you can. But I, I don't think in Human Revolution or Mankind Divided there's any swimming at all. Uh, so we're going to skip swimming for now. An agent moves like a dolphin underwater is master level swimming. I do not want to turn my JC Denton into a dolphin. Demolitions... Demolitions is tricky, because all you really need for most demolitions work is to be able to disarm, uh, like, landmines, which you can do with no training at all. Uh, yeah, JC Dolphin. Man, that's that's fantastic. I'm actually going to save the rest of my skill points. Because uh, I really... Because I can't really do anything... Like, low-tech, I can't really do that. Actually, I don't have any skill. I haven't enough skill points to do that. 
environmental training is not that useful. There's like hazmat stuff is only very specialized in bits of environments, and normally you can just get around that. So I'm just gonna start the game. Make sure I spelled my name right. I did. Fantastic. Let's rock and roll. Okay. Your appointment oh, to FEMA hey, should the be finalized okay. within the week. I've already discussed okay, let's skip the this. matter with. Okay, we we already watched that. I didn't think it played the intro uh, during the thing. Actually, do I have subtitles on? Subtitles are on. One of, one of the rare old games that has subtitles for, I think most if not all in-game dialogue, which is awesome. Uh, so we're gonna save actually, just in case if I die, I don't have to start the game over again. Uh, so you know, we're just gonna save right now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, New York City. There's the Statue of Liberty. Uh, I want to say that this game was either delayed or it was some kind of like fluke accident that the World Trade Center was not included because this game is old enough where it could have included it. They were still around then. Uh, but yeah, by some like f fluke, they decided to not include it in the New York skyline. Oh, which is kind of cool. Or it's not cool, but... Heads up, JC. Kind of president, at least. Way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island, and shots have been uh, fired. So let's grab the I soda repeat, and a forty. I will monitor your situation from HQ. All right, my brother's coming up. Uh, you can see in the bottom right is my inventory. So I got a pistol, a stun gun, med kit, that stuff, and a key ring. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Oh shoot, Welcome I'm over to the, the subtitles. JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but Unaco better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. Okay. First choice so far in the game. Uh, our brother asked, offering us different weapons. Uh, similar if you played Human Revolution before. And I think even Mankind Divided starts similarly, where you get to choose kind of your method of approach of like non-lethal versus lethal. This is a little more nuanced than that. Uh, where you have a sniper rifle, a gep gun, which is a rocket launcher, and a non-lethal... Well, it starts out non-lethal. You can pick up different kinds of bolts for it. Uh, but I'm going to start with the rocket launcher uh, because it is the most difficult one to find uh, just like we're sort of lying around. So I'm gonna... The gep gun might be useful. Yeah. They have a security bot on patrol near the statue entrance. Okay. Great. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the north dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. Okay. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is, like, one of the most famous first, like, actually just one of the most famous levels in any game, this uh, Statue of Liberty level. I'm going to talk to Paul a little more, because I know there's more conversation just to stay have. Here. There's been some activity at sea. I'm going to watch the coast. Why'd they bring you back to New York? I don't know what they have planned. I messed up an assassination attempt on one of the triad leaders in Hong Kong. Unatco pulled you out? It's a long story. You better head to the statue. Excuse me. I am enjoying a delicious tangerine white claw today. I don't drink that much, but when I do, it is the most basic of beverages. All right. So, uh, starting off here, uh, let's grab this crowbar. It would be pretty useful. Um, actually, I want to go over a couple things because there are some really interesting things about this game, uh, especially in comparison to the more modern titles in the series. Um, so he gave me a map and some other information. Uh, as well as uh, inventory, it's more of like this, uh, like Resident Evil 4, <laughs> I guess more of a comparison, style of inventory grid. Um, this key ring is interesting, uh, because uh, throughout the game you do pick up uh, different keys, uh, but instead of being like individual things, they just all go in this little key ring, so I can do that. I, I have no keys available, of course, 
because uh, they're just starting, but all your keys are just in this sort of key ring. So if you find a key, it's just one inventory item, which is kind of neat. Uh, it's my ammo list. Don't have a ton of ammo, uh, but I got enough. Uh, health. Uh, different parts of your body take uh, damage. Uh, and I'm blocking it right now, but there is a heal all button, which uh, you can use a med kit to either like super heal one limb or uh, do a general heal all. It's kind of similar to like Fallout uh, 3 and 4 in that way. Uh, augmentations. I don't have a lot of augmentations right now. Uh, let's see. I have... Yeah, this this really doesn't even count as augmentation, but it's just a thing that detects friendly info, a light, and a uh, basically my bio phone, for lack of a better term. But you do collect different uh, augmentations throughout the game that you can install on your different parts of your body. Uh, augmentation canisters, as well as bio cells to charge up your abilities. Uh, skills, this is where we spend all our skill points, like we did in the beginning. Uh, objectives. Uh, so uh, we have to get to the. Uh, at the very least, we have to just have to get to the top of the statue, and talk to the dude. Uh, and we can meet a dude at the uh, docks for a key, and uh, rescue another agent on our team. A uh, conversation list, I guess. <laughs> I guess you forget something. Uh, so this is really why I wanted to show because I think this is really interesting. Um, Unlike most modern games where uh, you, you have sort of like on-screen objective markers, um, this, you don't get any of that. Like, this is all I get <laughs> for a map <laughs> is dock. Like, you don't even get your position, uh, which is interesting. So you just have to sort of use um, sort of like landmarks and sort of general geometry to triangulate your location to try to figure out where to go. Uh, so that's... Yeah, like, that's one of the things I really m miss about modern games is trying to figure out. I mean, that's something that From Software does pretty well, is just trying to have an open environment and you have to sort of figure it out. Um, you can sort of turn off objective markers in a lot of games, like in the Deus Ex games, but I don't know. I, I kind of like this sort of just like, here's a map, figure it out, have fun. Uh, images, oh, that's all I have. Uh, I can add a note, I guess. I don't think that button works. <laughs> I don't think it works. So we're just going to ignore that for now. Oh, shit. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, okay. Oh, that's fascinating. Holy crap. I never knew you could do that. Okay, let's delete the note because it's not helpful. Oh, man. So I could say, like, oh, wow. Because normally I just, I, I've, I usually play the PlayStation 2 port of this game, which is, like, more, a little more, it's the same game, by and large, but it's more stripped down a little, and a little, it's not great, but it's, by and large, the same game. But, yeah, the notes feature does not exist there, so that's wicked cool. Um... And just sort of a lot. So, uh, enough explaining UI. Let's actually get to the freaking game. Uh, let's break these open. Got a pair of binoculars. And a lockpick. Oh, yeah, I threw my crowbar. Uh, actually, how do I holster something? Old games figuring out controls. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did have to do rebind some of these uh, keys because it's an old game and old games are weird. Uh, like reload was uh, just the semicolon button on the keyboard, which is like back totally bass backwards. Um, let's see. Put away I'm backspace. Okay. All righty. So backspace. Let's talk to this guy. What's your take on the situation, Corporal? The bots have them bottled up, sir. We'd go right in if it weren't for the whole back. How'd they get one of our agents? Gunter went rogue on us. When the order came, he wouldn't pull back. Not... Alrighty. There's our little robot friend. Ed 209 is here. NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. 
Jacko informant on the north dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bum. Identify yourself with the phrase iron and copper. Didn't he just tell me that? Eh, whatever. Okay. Nope. Oh, our first enemy. Fantastic. Let's save. Uh, since we got through all that, no, like, inventory stuff. I don't want to have to do that again. Uh, so. We could try just sneaking around. We got a dead guy here. At least I assume he's dead. If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy Stealth Course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this is a pretty open environment. And these guys, uh, like, sort of field of vision is pretty big. Sometimes. <laughs> Alright, so we got a can of pepper spray and a few other weapons from the other guy. As well as getting a candy bar. Uh, explosive boxes. Uh, it's not a... Early... Uh, 2000s, late 90s game without explosive boxes around. Uh, I don't have anything to take him out long distance without causing a ruckus. Uh, yeah, aiming is also really weird. You see, you see like, this crosshair is huge, super big. Um, that basically means... It's kind of like if you played the original Mass Effect. Um, like, when it came out originally. Um, like, how if you were untrained on a weapon, it was basically useless. It's kind of similar to this. Uh, where... Until you get really, really, like, either you have to be really patient and, whoop. Uh, be really patient and sort of, like, wait for the reticle to close in on the target before firing. You have to either do that or really, really bulk up your skill points in whatever weapon you want to use. Okay, that guy is doing his thing. Okay, there's a dude over there, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. I just realized on the stream it probably looks super dark, so apologies for that. Um, okay, let's... Uh, oh, yeah, that that is... Actually, hold on. I'm going to... I'll boost the brightness quite a bit for y'all. So you can actually see what I'm doing. That made no discernible change. Let's do it again. Uh, let's boost the brightness all the way. And that is also useless. <laughs> Apologies for that. Um, but yeah, let's... Let's just run away from that guy. Don't be on the main path. Okay. Alrighty. Right now, I just want to avoid these dudes as much as possible. I wonder who that guy is. Huh. He's not dressed like the rest of them, but... That's all right. Okay, there's a dude over there. He is looking in my direction, although I'm in pretty good darkness, so you shouldn't see me, hopefully. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay. We're good. Okay. We are still good. Let's break open this box. Pistol ammo, not too bad. Uh, we got a soda. Okay, there's a robot. And over there's the docks. Because I want to go to the docks. I want to talk to that dude. I want to talk to the dude to get the key to get inside. I can also get inside by... Whoa! Uh, if, if you want to do a bunch of climbing, you can go the way that we just passed. But I just kind of want to show off the game a bit because I've played this game a ton. So I, I know these levels like the back of my hand.
or at the very least, I know this level, like the back of my hand. It all happened an hour ago. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in, offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. Alrighty. We got cigarettes and a couple flares. Oh, shit. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, God. There's that guy over there. Okay. I'll try my best to sneak up on this dude and take him out with a stun gun. Hi. Hi. I'm stunning you. They found us. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, okay. Whew, that was lucky. Okay, I'm out of ammo on the stun gun. Uh, that sucks. Because I kind of need it. Oh, but we do have the crossbow from that guy, though. So let's remove the soda from our inventory. From our direct inventory. Yeah, this is all going according to plan. Yeah, just perfect. Yeah, the stun gun is... It's useful, but it's also super finicky. Uh, I'm going to swap out the 40 with the pepper spray as one's to do. Okay, I have three I have three darts <laughs> with the tranquilizer crossbow. Did I get... Okay, yeah, I did pick up from his body. Uh, there's our dude over there. Uh, there's another soda. Let's get the soda. About time you showed up. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Passwords enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. Okay, nerd. My dad did tours out here. I heard that you can get me inside. It depends. You get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander, and I don't want to see him get hurt. Here's a picture so you don't make a mistake. Uh, so my options uh, are kind of blocking. Are you can trust me, or I can't make any promises. Uh, so I'm going to say you, you can, can trust, trust me. me. I'll take your word. Here's the key to the front entrance. Commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, J.C. Denton's voice actor is amazing. Okay. I mean that both, like, sincerely as well as a little sarcastically. Uh, let's talk to this uh, uh, fortunate-looking person. I get a cut for bringing him over. Tell me what you know about the NSF operation. I'm not that high level. The more elite troops, they're the ones that took over the ship and unloaded it into the ship. That's all I know. The commander gave me a 10 millimeter clip, a box of 30 Ooh. 6 ammo, and some crossbow darts, and Ooh, said I'll keep, keep your darts. head down. Huh. Like I'm gonna take on your NATCO troops. Want them? You can add the clip for 175, the 30 out 6 for 300, and the darts for 50. Oh, shoot. I don't know how much money I have. I'd go head on attack altogether and not even use the key Philbin got. I'd go in the statue from the back. Less security that way. Yep, so she's offering me the different options. I don't know how much money I have, but I know I have enough for the darts. I'll give you 50 for the darts. The commander's the whole reason my... Oh, shoot. They're lethal darts. Oh, crap. I mean, I can use them, but I'd rather not. Okay. So let's save here. Um, we're gonna be all according to plan. All right. Uh, so uh, here's a fun thing. One option that they don't tell you about, but you can do, is let's crawl under here. I don't know if I have enough oxygen to do it. It's depleting pretty fast, but we'll try our try our best. Uh, okay, let's. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna have to pick this and go right back to the surface. Yeah, because there's a sunken ship down here that I can pick up supplies from. Yeah, and then, and like, stuff like this is why I love this game, because there's just so many fun little secrets and stuff in here. Uh, yeah, and I got 50 XP for doing it. Oh, crap. Oh, man. I, ooh, I got a weapon mod. Oh, shit. Uh, where's. Okay. Oh crap! Oh, this isn't. This is not going according to. Get out of the boat! 
Okay. That did not go according to plan. <laughs> okay. I got an accuracy mod. Okay. Let's, uh... This is, like, one of the only instances in which upgrading swimming as an ability has been useful. Is this specific thing. Is this specific boat. A sawed off shotgun. Okay. Go, 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 go. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm going to lose some health. That's okay. I got plenty. Alrighty. Okay, let's let's go back to the surface and take stock of what we got. Alrighty. Let's duck under the thing. Let's turn off my light. And pull up inventory. Okay. So, we got... Uh, looks like an accuracy mod that I can install in the crossbow or the pistol. Uh, a reload speed mod that I can install into my rocket launcher or my shotgun, and I got a sawed-off shotgun. Excuse me, and with four shots in it. I am... Hmm. Well, the reload mod I'm going to install in the rocket launcher. That's 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 almost a no-brainer. Accuracy mod... Because I want to remain non-lethal for the most part. I'm going to install it in the crossbow. Oh, uh, yeah. And you can see, like, I can swap out ammo uh, whenever I want with tranquilizer darts, lethal darts, or flare darts, which I can use, I guess, to light my path. Usually, I just use it to light stuff on fire. Uh, and then got a bunch of use. I got a pair of useless, useless binoculars. It's like, oh great, I can see this really crappy image of the Statue of Liberty closer. Uh, but that's alright. Actually, how's my health doing? Probably not great. Yeah, not great, so I'm going to use... Hmm. I'm not going to use my health kit right now. Hopefully one of these has one. 30-06. And some rockets. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, so, uh, there's a robot. Yeah, so we, uh, with, uh, with what they said, I have a couple options. I can either go through the front door, or I can try sneaking around through the back. Um, we are going to avoid that robot as best we can. I guess I could just blow it up, but I don't want to cause too much of a ruckus. There's a dude over there. Let's just go through the front door. Okay. So let's, uh, let's try and knock this dude out. Yeah, he's so far away. Yeah. Like, look, look how long it takes to line up a shot. Okay. We are good. And fuck. Okay. Okay. Okay, he's good. He did po pop off a shot. But I don't think anyone was around to hear it. So he is asleep. Okay, we got more 30 out 6. And was that night vision goggles? Oh, hell yeah. Cool. Okay, so I'm down to only one tranquilizer dart, which is not helpful. Be careful. The NSF has set up patchwork security systems here. Alrighty. Yep, there's that robot. Uh, so I'm going to blow it up with my rocket launcher. Yeah, sorry. Apologies if this is really, really loud. Hmm. Ah, I missed. Okay, I don't think that... Even though it was an explosion, I don't think anyone... Why is that guy... That guy does not give a fuck about what I just did. Uh, alright. The NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. Okay, I let's... I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. Let's try knocking this dude out. Got him. Okay. Okay. He is going through the process of being knocked out. 
I think he's the only he's the only dude around. There's that guy, but that guy doesn't care. That guy also does not care. Yeah, so like for for someone who has not played through this game before, uh sometimes avoiding these dudes can be like weird. Because it's it's a pretty even though it's pretty advanced for the time, it's a pretty primitive stealth system. So it's like a thing of like if someone's on you, they're on your ass. Uh, but it's pretty easy to avoid having too much stuff in your way. I'm gonna hmm. I'm just gonna try try to see if I can avoid that robot. Uh, we got a security panel here. Uh, I'll show you hacking. Uh, so we got this hack button. We got some matrix text. And stuff is still happening. So that robot is still doing its patrol while I'm in here. So it can still detect me and and shoot me up real good. Uh, so we're going to turn off camera. We're going to unlock the door, even though I don't have to. So it's just another way of doing it. I could have just ran up and if since my computer skill was enough. Oh, God, there's that robot. Oh, God, there's a crate blocking me. <laughs> okay. I think I've avoided the robot. But yeah, since um, since my computer skill was good enough, I was able to hack that computer with relative speed. Uh, and so I I didn't even need to talk to that guy to get the key. Oh, jeez. There's that robot. Okay. Yeah, so I, I could have just ran up to the front door, hacked the computer. Like, I could have just ran up, blew up the robot, hacked the computer, and been on my merry way. Uh, I just wanted to show off a little bit of the... Uh, Sort of sandboxy nature of a lot of these levels. Okay. So this is the main lobby. Uh, there's a dude down here. I don't know why I have my stun gun out. I don't have any ammo for it. I'll get out my non-lethal baton. Okay. There's a couple dudes on the second floor. There's a camera. And it looks like a uh, turret up there. Oh. This, wow. This stuff is glitching out. Hey, running running old games is a challenge. I kind of want to get like a Windows 98 or like an XP computer to run these old games for for these streams. Just so it can sort of run them in sort of their most authentic selves. Uh, but that's a bit much right now. Oh, we got an ATM here. Uh, let's hack the ATM. Uh, so I can get my 50 uh, <laughs> uh, my 50 credits back that since I spent those on the darts all right uh, current balance 100 uh, thank you I will withdraw that $100 there we go okay uh, so let's save again this is a, this is one of those quick save games so we're gonna say lobby all right so this isn't great um, we got a dude down there. Okay. Go, 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 go. Okay. There's... Okay, there's... Ooh. I think Gunther is being held behind this laser-triggered alarm. Okay. If you don't want to set off the alarm, you can either hack the control panel in the doorway or find a way around. My blueprint of the statue shows a few air shafts. Okay. I think there's... The security setup is yeah. strictly amateur stuff. Keep an eye out for ways to bypass it. These old pre-millennial buildings are riddled with ventilation shafts and maintenance tunnels. What are you saying about millennials? All right. So we're sneaking through this air shaft, uh, playing Human Revolution. You know that air shafts are a Deus sex thing. Uh, ooh, a multi-tool. I don't think I... Do I have any of those yet? I do not. That's our first multi-tool. Uh, multi-tools are used to sort of um, hack through security panels... Um, laser grids, stuff like that. Uh, hack keypads. And you have regular lock picks that unlock doors, uh, foot lockers, and stuff like that. Okay, so I need a lock pick. I do not have one in my quick inventory. Nor do I have... Oh, shoot, because I spent it... Crap. I spent my lock pick on the, uh, on the boat. Shoot, I didn't think of that. Let's drop these cigarettes. Cigarettes are useless. In both real life and in the game. They just take up inventory. Uh, we can pick up this trash can. Throw the trash can. Useless. 
I can blow up the door if I want to. Uh, but I'd rather not. I'd rather avoid having sort of these big confrontations if I can help it. Especially early in the game when the combat is a struggle. Okay, where's this lead? Okay, we got a med kit. Uh, PS20. And a data cube. Okay. Uh, so many people use that ATM each day. It's busted 90% of the time. Okay, so if I wanted to, instead of uh, hacking the ATM, I could have just found this little data piece uh, and find the account number and uh, PIN. Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, Jonathan's wife. I just stole your money. <laughs> Bummer. Uh, that PS20 that I got is weird. It's technically a weapon. It's like a one-time use plasma gun. It's completely useless. I, I don't think I've ever killed anything with it. Okay. Got a bunch of boxes over here. Oh. I hear footsteps. That's not great. Oh. Where am I? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's pick up this... Yeah, let, I'm gonna try climbing... Yeah, I'll see if I can try to stand on the chair and get over that way. Two, one. Come on. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. I've been defeated by a chair. Oh, shit. <laughs> me throwing around this chair has caused a ruckus. Okay, so I can't use the chair to climb on for some reason. So we're going to have to make a, uh, a bit of a more of a direct assault on this, uh, I guess, to get Gunther and everyone out. But it's just Gunther. Um, so let's go ahead. That little fun excursion through the air shaft. Alrighty. Where's that dude? Okay, that dude's over there. There's a data cube. Uh, oh, a lockpick. Oh, I might be able to use that. Okay, so I'll try to... I'll wait for this dude to pass. Come up. Just try to steal the lockpick and the rest of the stuff on that counter. Go through the air shaft. Unlock that door. I can hear someone running, which is uh, normally a bad sign. Okay, let's see. Is there a dude over there? No. Okay, let's take lock pick. Ooh, a lamb. Oh, I don't have enough inventory. Shoot. Uh, what can I get rid of? Um, crap. I'll drop the 40. The 40 is useless. I mean, having a 40 in your inventory is funny, but not that helpful. Okay, let's take the lamb. I saw somebody. Shit. Maybe just a homeless guy. Okay. Whew. Okay, that was lucky. <laughs> yeah, a lamb is basically like a... It has multiple uses. You can use it either as a grenade or a... Um, like a trip mine. Uh, it's pretty useful. Mostly useful against robots. Not that... I mean, it is useful against people, obviously, because it's an explosive. Um... But it's more, it's more, I would say, economically useful to use it against, um, like, a robot or something that you can't easily defeat otherwise. Okay. So we got through that. Now we're, we're on the other side of the laser grid. There is a dude over here that I'm going to have to take out somehow. Because I don't have, I don't have any non-lethal ammo left. I do have some pepper spray. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. I think I may just have to take this. Oh, crap. There's two guys. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, I may not be able to avoid combat, unfortunately. Uh, which... Oh, shit. Who's Surprise! There? That's him. Oh, He's a cow. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, one down. Oh, God. What up? Oh. 
Yeah, one of the biggest reasons I wanted to... Oh, fudge. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Um, crap. Oh, yeah, my health is really bad. I'm, I'm gonna use... Oh, wow. <laughs> I have four health on my torso left. I will use one of my med kits for that. And I'll use the other one on my head. Oh, this, this is gone. This has gone all sorts of bad. I am not going to load my save. Uh, oh, good, the arm stopped. Uh, I'm not going to reload my save. Um, what the fuck are you doing over there? Nothing. I guess we're safe. What are you talking about? Whatever. Um, uh, let's see. Where's my crossbow? I'm going to load it up with the uh, the lethal darts. Yeah, because it's it's just a it's a personal <laughs> policy of mine in, in in games like this is that if I screw up, like how I just did, I ran right through the I ran right through the laser grid. Um, but if I screw up like that, I do not reload. My, I, d I don't sub uh, save scum. I just take my I just take my failures and roll with it because I think that makes for really interesting stories to tell. Of like, oh, this thing happened and this thing happened and that led to like a cool encounter. Um, whereas I think, I mean, like you can say scum all you want, I don't care. Quiet. I think we got we're busted. I just think that's a very boring way to play games. Is trying to reach like a bizarre level of perfection. Oh, it did it again. Okay, I don't know where he's going. But yeah, I think trying to play a game to perfection is a very boring way to play this genre of game. Yeah, valid in its own right, but oh Jesus! Oh, this is all go this is all going very bad. Uh, let's equip my multi-tool. I might be able to hack the camera directly, which would be nice. Okay, okay. Let's get under the camera. Okay. Okay, I just need one multi-tool. All right, hack the camera. Another accuracy mod, and a bat I already have a baton, I don't need to. Oh, weird. Oh, huh, okay. It doesn't duplicate in my inventory like I thought it would. Alrighty, let's hack the terminal. So we can uh, get Gunther out. Uh, camera is off. The door is unlocked and open. Alrighty. Uh, let's see what else is here. Uh, there's a fire extinguisher. Not useful. Um, some soy food. That would be useful. You know what, actually, I'm going to eat some of that to get a little bit of health back. Alrighty. And there's uh, Gunther. Glad you're not hurt, Agent. Command should not have left us to be surrounded. Risk is part of the job. I think you lucked out this time. Agent Navarra and I were ready to go in. But for no reasons, I said pull back. He has the most I do not German retreat. accent. Please give me a weapon. Anyone is attempted. Um, okay. Now, do I give him a weapon or not? I only have one pistol. I'm not going to give it away. First thing is to get you out of here. I'll handle the enemy. Excuse that I have forgotten your brother Paul Denton and the infinite power of nano-augmentation. I just can't spare any arms. Please retreat to a safe location. Go oh, ahead. God. I, th I think there's an enemy behind me. At the top. I will take my rusty metal bones and sweep away into the junk pile. There's an alarm. So yeah, like, enemy patterns and stuff like that do still go through with alarms as well. So, so like, even if you're in conversation, that doesn't mean that you're, you're home free. Uh, let's do something with this accuracy mod. Uh, let's install it to the pistol. Alrighty. 
Let's see if we can talk to him some more. Now I see the reason for the pullback. They wanted to show off their new nano augmentation technology. What is that sound? Oh god, what is happening? Is there a robot in here? Wait, what is happening? Oh, Jesus. Okay. I never noticed that turret there before. Can we sneak out this way? Okay. Yeah, it was just because someone hit the alarm that the... Oh, that's bad. I should just... I saw somebody. I got this one. Okay. Jesus. Well, fuck it. Okay, yeah, I just filled the lobby with poison gas. Probably not the best of ideas. <laughs> oh, you're shitting me. Okay. In hindsight, maybe my gas plan was good. It just didn't work. I don't know how long that's supposed to go. <laughs> uh, well, I may as well pick up from these uh, dead dudes. Yeah, one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to avoid combat, if possible, is that um, different characters will react to you based on those decisions you make. Um, so, uh, like, my brother will not be very happy with me uh, that I uh, basically killed people on this level. And uh, different characters do similar kind of reactions of, like, oh, you killed this per like you killed like all these people doing this thing. I'm not going to talk to you, so you're going to have to find out like different avenues to get information or access to places. Um, just really interesting things like that. Alrighty, we got another med kit and another useless PS20. What is this? Why is there a hole in the wall? I'm not going to ask questions. I mean, I just did, but that's not the point. Okay. Okay, let's... Let's see. There's a camera over there. Okay, we're going to outrun the turret. Oh, that kind of worked. I was like, okay. I know the turret rotates. Let's outrun the turret. And it kind of worked, even though I got shot in the ass a couple times. Uh, let's drink some soda. Get get some pretty basic health back. My health overall is pretty good, even though I got shot in the ass. Okay. Who was that? I didn't see a uniform. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, the, so this is what I mean by like the stealth and everything is a little rudimentary. I just shot that guy with an unsuppressed weapon. That guy over there does not give a single care in the world about a loud gun going off. Okay. I'm not even sure if the AI is smart enough to notice that there's a dead guy right there. <laughs> uh, but we'll find out. After these commercial messages. No, just kidding. I mean, I guess technically now we are a Twitch affiliate. <laughs> we it, There couldn't have been an ad there, but nah. Okay, so what do we got? Hey! Thanks, produced by LK. Oh, Lawrence. Thanks, <laughs> Lawrence. Connor is now a uh, tier one subscriber to the Lore Party Twitch channel. Uh, if anyone out there who is uh, watching as well, you can certainly do the same. Uh, it helps out the channel a great deal. All right. 
So let's do some more sneaking. That guy still does not care, so the AI is not smart enough to notice that there's a dead guy right there. Old games. Okay, I have one dart left. I may as well just blow it on this dude. Oh, actually, no, I'll just sneak or try to sneak around him. Try to go back to stealth after so much gun violence. Okay. All right, so, so yeah, like, uh... I mean, it, it's, it's sad. This is also a... I'm trying to think. I think this game out, came out in 2000, so this is a 22-year-old video game. <laughs> So, yeah, like, the AI being a dumb as a sack of bricks can be, if not forgiven, then at least understood. Ah, what the? Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, I just... Ah. What happened to the frame rate? <laughs> what was that? This is a 22-year-old game. This is a modern computer. How'd that happen? Someone there? Yeah, clearly someone's there. Someone, like, set off a big fart mine over there or whatever it was. Okay. Let's... Let's just get to the top of this uh, statue. Finish up the mission. Okay. So, here's another gas grenade. Let's walk up to it. Okay, we disarmed it. So, yeah, if you had high enough explosives um, skill then you would have been able to either disable it at a longer distance or I think it's either at a longer distance or you have more time to disable it. Um, but we are um, kind of crappy. We have crappy stats right now, but we have uh, a little over 1,500 skill points. We can invest that in something. Um, I, let's see, low tech weapons demolitions. Now that I've f fart clouded myself, maybe diamond listens is a good thing to do. Uh, hmm. I don't have enough for electronics. I might just wait and save enough for electronics. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I don't have any augmentations. I don't think you can even pick up any augmentations in this level, although, hmm. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a very long time since I've played this game. And uh, like I mentioned, I usually just played the PS2 version back in the day. Uh, but I'm going to use... Yeah, I think I'm going to fart cloud these dudes. Okay, ready, and... <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Oh, shoot. I forget where the stairs are. Oh, I haven't saved in a while. Never. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, when was my last save? Okay, it was in the lobby. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, I think this is even before when all that shit went down. Right? I ran out of trank darts, but yeah, this is before. Yeah, this should work. Okay, so I just have to redo saving Gunther. And that's it. That's the only thing else I accomplished. So let's go save Gunther. I may even save Gunther, double back around, and then just go through the Gunther back entrance the instead of running through that alarm. turret. If you don't want to set off the alarm, you can either hack the control panel in the doorway. Do I have any stone ammo? No. My blueprint of the statue shows a few air shafts. Okay. Lockpick. Data cube. Okay. This security setup is strictly amateur stuff. Keep an eye out for ways to bypass it. These old pre-millennial buildings are riddled with ventilation shafts and maintenance tunnels. Okay, there's a dude over there. Yeah, let's just go through the, uh, th now that you've got the lockpick, let's just do that. 
expedite the completion of this level. But yeah, like, 2000, like, the, the idea that you could, you, the, that you can accomplish these objectives and that the world is as open as it is was kind of revolutionary. Because uh, this was still, this is only less than 10 years after Doom and, like, the, the rise of the corridor shooter. So even, even as rudimentary as a lot of this game's mechanics are in modern comparison, like, if... Like, a, a game of similar innovation came out today, that would be kind of mind-blowing. Like, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to even think of, like, something as revolutionary as stuff, like, by 2000 standards, as revolutionary as this is, what is today's comparison? And I don't really know. I guess it, like maybe like the just the general rise of the open world game, but I think I think that has become so so far formulaic and expected at this point that it, it doesn't even seem like a revolution anymore. If anything, the opposite's happening, where uh, like a good a good solid tight tightly designed game is now more interesting than just another big open world. Okay. Oh. No, I'm not going to use my rocket launcher on him. Huh? Okay, that kind of worked. Okay, there's the alarm. Okay, that did not work. Uh, what's my health like? Bad. Okay, let's heal up. Um. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> All right, let's pick it. Oh, hi. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, hi. Okay, well, this didn't quite work. Bummer. Um, okay, well, actually, me getting that grenade makes me have an idea. I'm just going to use this to blow up hopefully the camera and the turret, but at the very least I want to get the camera. Is Run away. Someone there? Okay, I have no idea what that just got, but Oh, hi. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> I thought it was screwed, and they just like three stooges their way around me. Anybody see him? Okay. Let's see if we can figure out where they went. Oh, they're over there. There's one guy over there. Oh, balls. Well, I'm just going to shoot this guy. I know I am. I'm done messing around. Okay. I'm actually going to drop my pistol because I want to give him a weapon. I want him to like me. Oh, actually, oh, hell. Okay, that guy gave me a pistol. I'll just use that. Okay, well, I don't need the security terminal. Glad you're not hurt, Agent. Call risk okay. is Agent Navarra. Okay. Take the pistol. As you wish. That will be adequate. I will secure this. All right. So pick up my upgraded pistol. Uh, pick up the soy food. Oh, yeah, there's Gunther just causing a ruckus. Oh, I was like, oh, who was that? Oh, it's my, it's a mirror. Hey, Lawrence, thank you for subscribing. Oh, I, I should pick up this multi-tool while I'm here. Okay, I'm out of... Actually, okay, I'll just use that. Save up some inventory space. 
It is so dark. Yeah. I didn't realize, like, this is the game at max brightness. <laughs> I did not realize how dark this game was. Or at the very least, like, the stream makes it a little darker. Um, than it is in my monitor. But yeah. Because in my monitor, like, the blacks, like, the black levels look more like a like just like a dark gray because uh, the brightness is so bright <laughs> uh, okay there's that camera ah, screw it okay <laughs> camera didn't notice me I'll take it um you know what? let's let's fuck around a little bit Let's pick up this thing of TNT. That's it. Right. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Oh my god, I have to do that again. This guy wasn't just a grunt. What's going on? <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, let's do that again. Oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go the most direct route. I'm not gonna mess around with sneaking or anything. I think Gunther is being held behind this laser-triggered alarm. If you don't want to set off the alarm, you can either hack the control panel in the doorway or find a way around. My blueprint of the statue shows a few air shafts. That's him. He's a cop. There we go. That's him. He's a cop. Gunther's a rear bus hit one of our top agents. Alright. Everything's going according to plan. Let's blow up that camera and the turret. Okay, we, we got the we got the door and the turret. That's close enough. Oh, I did blow up that guy's body. That's gross. All right, throw the thing. Hopefully one of these guys has a pistol I can take. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, I can read the newspaper if I want. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Glad you're not hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the pistol. Okay. So there's a, a thing I do in games, I call it fuck it mode, where if I screw up enough, I just say fuck it and then do the easiest thing possible. So it's going to say fuck it mode. Alrighty. Oh, jeez, okay. Pick up the pick up the health kit. Oh, I have a rocket launcher. How did I forget? Oh, I missed. <laughs> okay. Let's wait for the reticle to aim up properly. And that's close enough. Actually, no, that's as close as it's gonna get. All right, that's fine. Alrighty. Anything else in here? There's a lockpick. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That is gross. Uh, ugh, that was grody. Oh, I can't even, like, ugh. ugh. I'm gonna get this pig. That's fair. Pig. I mean, that's fair. Oh, God, some guy has darts. Oh, jeez. Okay. Run, 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 run. Okay. Uh, let's heal up. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's just go as fast as possible. Up these stairs. Up these stairs. Try to avoid a fart cloud. Oh, the 
the last second. Okay. Let's see, are they... Okay, no, those dudes are the ones chasing me right now. There's stairs that lead up, but I don't remember where they are. There's, a, there's another mine. Okay, there they are. Found them. Gunther has reestablished contact. He says you helped him escape. Good work. Alrighty. Wait. Oh, jeez! Huh? news, JC. The NSF targeted a shipment of the plague vaccine Ambrosia. We can't locate it. See if the leader will surrender when you reach the command post. We'd like to interrogate him. Yeah. Stay cool. That's him. He's a cop. Okay, let's try to lead him down here. Okay, set a mine for them. There we go, that worked. Okay. Okay, I don't think they can catch up to me at this point. They're gonna try, but I don't think they can. <laughs> easy. You tell me to take it easy at this point. Don't shoot. Okay. I surrender. Oh, thank God. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Um. Okay. Uh, dialogue options: accept you, <laughs> accept send you back to the people in a body bag, or tell me about the shipment. Uh, or I'll basically keep you safe. I'm gonna do that option. Tell me about the shipment, and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. Yeah, it's like the... Well the done. I guess I didn't really I know, set up like... The, Report back to base on the, the big setup of, the of this game was like, complete. what if every conspiracy theory you've heard about was real? You know, so it's like, you know, the JFK, aliens, all moves. that You're stuff. Right behind you, cut through them like a hot knife through butter. Uh, let's talk to this guy some more. Just answer the question. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. For a hundred years, there's been a conspiracy of plutocrats against ordinary people. Do you have a single fact to back that up? Number one. In 1945, corporations paid 50% of federal taxes. Now they pay about 5%. Number two, in 1900, 90% of Americans were self-employed. Now it's about 2%. So? It's called consolidation. Strengthen governments and corporations, weaken individuals. With taxes, this can be done imperceptibly over time. All right. Uh, so there's an augmentation canister over here. Uh, that I can pick up. I have to take it to a medical bot in order to install it. Uh, but yeah. I'll we're, take it from here. Okay. Uh, we're, so we're going to go back to base. Uh, I think we're going to... I'm going to go back to base, sort of show you all around the base, uh, some of the, the other, rest of the cast that we're dealing with here, install that augmentation, and probably call it for a stream. Uh, it's been pretty good. <laughs> pretty good of a uh, thing. Normally I try to play better than this, but it's been it's been so long since I played this game that me me screwing up this badly I should have expected it. <laughs> okay, there is no mine over here. So let's head down. God, this frame rate. It must be because I'm streaming or something. Okay, can I can I just hop over here? Yes. God. Oh, jeez. It'd be funny if I died just then. Actually, speaking of which, I'm going to fucking save. Okay. Because I do not... I don't want to die because I broke my leg so hard. That would be bad. <laughs> oh, here's the uh, head of the Statue of Liberty. That's kind of neat. A shame, isn't it? The French terrorist group Silhouette claims that France was wrong to give the U.S. the statue. We think they planned the bombing. You know, I'm going to turn my light on just so you guys can get at least a view of what's happening. 
Uh, we're gonna get to a lit location shortly. As soon as I find my way off this freaking thing. No fast travel. Old game. <laughs> no fast travel. Jesus Christ, okay. How do we get off this thing? Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, I literally went in a circle. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh... Okay. Yeah, I guess we could just go through the middle of the statue back through the lobby. But I, kn I know there's a way to do it because you can enter the statue through here, but I can't get off the statue through here. <laughs> this bag of trash. Okay. Let's get up, go th down through the lobby, get out. That's actually, that's also one of the more direct paths out, so we'll just do that. Check out these footstep sounds. Okay. Going down. Alrighty. Okay. I was going to say, it's like, if it just takes me through the, the, the loop de loop again, I'm going to freaking lose it. <laughs> okay. They sent us in to pick up the pieces. We've already searched them. Okay. So my headquarters are over here. You guys can kind of see it. <laughs> Second stream in a row. I'm getting running into brightness issues. I need to check my OBS settings or something like that. But, oh, look. Stun gun ammo. I need that. And uh, pepper spray ammo. Sweet. Well, let's reload my stun gun. Alrighty. Sick helicopters taking off. Oh, here's my brother. Island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. So they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the East Coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know Unatco handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. Unatco makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Doing well so far. I blew up a guy with a rocket launcher. Normally he chats he chastises you if you kill too many people. Um I must have just been right under the threshold or something. Uh that's weird. Sick reflections. Way to go, sir. Got I XP. Gunther was a goner. Uh let's pick up a candy bar and a soda from that dude's desk. It's my first day too. I'm pretty excited. Ooh, okay. Cool. <laughs> like it's a trophy, but lands like a thud, like Check it's a, with Manderley on level two. like a brick. Okay. Alrighty. There have been a number of times where I've been playing this game, and I've been so low on health items that I've been that I would like stand near a water fountain for like 10 minutes just getting health back one point at a time. The retinal scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. Sweet. Alrighty. Remember that Mr. Manderly wants to see you. I know. Level two. His secretary, Janice Reed, has your login and password. Cool. We finally got to cap some rebels, eh, Denton? Okay, level two. Oh yeah, uh, we'll do a fun conversation here. 
At least I think this is the point where this conversation happens. Your partner for the next assignment, Anna Navara, is in the adjoining break room to the east. Maybe you should introduce yourself. Okay. Are you sure you pressed the right button? I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. The conspiracy. Like everything else in this game. Alright, let's talk to these guys. Forget how Agent Navarra is not friendly. My new partner, J.C. Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. My vision is augmented. At least it is a way that we know when it's not foul. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. <laughs> I am prepared to perform my duties. He will not be the equivalent of his brother. I have seen that he knows the procedure of a good offensive. Let us hope you are right. I won't let you down, Agent. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, so the, 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 throughout the game, there's these public terminals that basically just operate like um, like news. So you can see what's going on in the outside world, and sometimes your um, the way that you operate will affect how these news reports come out. Uh, and yeah, you can see a little bit about the different uh, terrorist organizations and stuff that you deal with. Uh, yeah. There's that, and the other ATM that I don't think I can hack in here because people will notice me hacking, um, and that would be bad. Another newspaper. What? Okay, that's stupid. Oh. Fun pinball machine. Can't really do anything with it, but yeah, let, let's, let's cut to the chase. Good work out there, Mr. Denton. Mr. Mandalay said you handled yourself nicely. Welcome to UNATCO HQ. Our little family keeps getting bigger. Is Mr. Manderley available? Yes, go right in. By the way, your computer account is ready. Okay. Got her username and password. What's the idea, JC? Oh, I got the login information for my boss's computer. That might come in handy. Okay. Reporting for duty, sir. The man himself. Splendid. Do you accept my apologies about the situation, Topside? A refreshing change from the Academy, sir. Don't despise training, my boy. Even you would be worthless without the shaping touch of drills and studies. So the NSF took a shipment of the Ambrosia vaccine? Give me a chopper and a pilot and I'll handle it. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Yes, indeed. But we're having your brother head up the recovery team. You'll work with Agent Anna Navarra. Why don't... Yes, sir. Okay. So I got to talk to uh, the doctor and the quartermaster. Get some equipment. Just checking the time. Okay, yeah. I got I got a little bit of time. I Maybe I might, despite my progress, might do another 10 minutes. And then cut call the stream there. Uh, it may as well long to my computer while I'm at it. You found your office. In my shitty Janice little office. Your login? Yes, I see here that she did. Okay. So it's JCD and then Bionic Man. And you actually have to type out the username and password. <laughs> yep, and so like the uh, the real name that you give JC shows up in a few places. Uh, so like this this email from the uh, doctor. I'm not going to spend my time reading all these in full. You can more than happy to spend like the three cents or whatever this game costs now and or read them yourselves <laughs> or, or pause or whatever. I do have a ton of skill points. I'm going to, if I'm going to keep playing this on stream, which I'm, eh, I'll think about it. I kind of just like doing tapas <laughs> of old games on stream like this. To just show them off because I think 
especially in the, the modern era, like old games are, I don't want to say underappreciated because that's not, that's not true. Uh, but I just don't think they get a ton of exposure outside of like maybe the, like some YouTube videos and stuff. Um, just showing them kind of not necessarily out of context, but not from a actual playing perspective. Hey, JC. You look like the real thing. They actually let you operate on people. Just fix Gunther's knee, in fact. A sticky actuator. So far, I feel more like a mechanic than a doctor. I'm impressed. They actually let you point a gun? We'll have to catch up later. I've got to leave for New York right away. No problem. Listen, JC. About your... As long as I don't turn green and grow a pair of antennas, as I understand. Yeah, well, the designs... I think I picked one of those up at the... Maybe you did. My order from Versalife was on the ship the NSF captured. I'll do that. The canisters contain a colloid of ROM modules. Some are generic upgrades. It's about time. Okay. So, uh, let's find the medbot somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, let's pick up some throwing knives from this guy. Where is that robot? He's somewhere around here. There he is. Okay, so first, let's, ju let's just do a general healing up. And let's see... Okay, so I have an arm augmentation available, so I can either make myself stronger or increase my melee weapon abilities. I'm going to I'm going to do picking up stuff cuz that that comes in handy pretty frequently. And there we go. First augmentation. So you can see that it's bound to the F6 key. And I, I, if I remember right, augmentations are permanent. You're getting warm. You're red hot. Looks like you found me. Oh, okay. Don't do that again. <laughs> like leading a mouse to cheese. This thing is starting to give me a headache. <laughs> Don't worry. We shut it down when you go up. I guess I'll get used to it. I'm Alex Jacobson, communications engineer. I suppose you already know who I am. Getting there. Thanks. Okay, enough goofing around. Okay. Is that guy... Oh, that's a candy bar. I thought that was a multi-tool. I would have taken it if it was a multi-tool. <laughs> I don't need a candy bar taking up inventory space at this point. I just healed up. Oh, here's the quartermaster. At ease, Agent Denton. General Carter, I read about the Merced operation in school. This is a great honor. I'm not a general anymore. Just call me Carter. I can't believe what the NSF did to your family. Enough of that, soldier. We each have our troubles. I lost my children, but you've had to grow up without... My parents died in a car accident. That's different. I said that's enough. You have your own op and time is sure... That sounds fine. What else do you think you'll... Okay. I think I have plenty of lockpicks. I'll go with a multi-tool. Can you spare a nanotech tech tool? Sorry, sir, I can't care. <laughs> my inventory's full. Uh, let's drop these cigarettes and that 40. All right. Oh, I guess I could install this uh, accuracy augmentation. I'll install it onto the silenced pistol. And actually, I can drop the regular pistol too, because I already have a silenced so pistol. Let's see. I don't need another a stealth one. pistol. Okay. Can you? All right. Uh, yeah, and that's that's most of the main, at least at home base. There, there there's there's a big cast of characters. Those are the sort of main cast of characters that you have regularly throughout the game, at least while you're at base. So yeah, I think I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do while I'm here. Uh, nope, just a mission briefing. So I'm going to actually, let's save the game. Sa save, save the game. There's no checkpoints in this game. <laughs> Found that out the hard way. Uh, let's say Manderly L2. So I remember what my objective is. Alrighty. Oh, you're going to see my Steam library again. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh yeah, let's keep music going. I'll lower it a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you very much uh, for joining me here on the uh, Lore Party Podcast. 
network's Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash lore underscore party. Uh, thank you, Connor and Lawrence, and I don't know who you are, but uh, someone, uh, uh, any who watched or uh, chatted with us today, uh, thank you very much for joining us here uh, today. Um, I'm Michael again. Uh, check us out at loreparty.com. Uh, check out lore, the entire Lore Party uh, podcast and network of shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere else you get podcasts. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, lore underscore party. Same as our Twitch channel. Um, yeah, like I said, loreparty.com. Uh, yeah, I'm Michael. Uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us here today. I hope you all have a uh, good night, a good week, good month, good year. Oh, that was silly. All right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>